Well, what is title insurance? This is a question we get a lot. So we are going to talk about this today and demystify what it is and why it's important to have. Before answering what is title insurance though, we probably want to answer the question, what is title? Uh, title is the ownership in real property. Among other things, it sh says that you've got the legal right to possess, occupy, peacefully enjoy, and sell your property without interference from others, subject only to any restrictions that may come from a governmental jurisdiction or authorities or previous owners. Previous owners? That sounds scary. What are you talking about? All right. There's a few things that you definitely need to know. So I'm Melissa Terzis, DC Real Estate Mama. This is my channel, Living in DC. We talk about all things DC here and the metro area to include Northern Virginia and parts of Maryland that are close to DC. So if that's your thing, you can hit the bell and subscribe. I do videos about once a week and that will give you a notification when a new video is up. In addition, I'm going to put my contact info up here so that if you need to contact me, you you can reach out directly and I have plenty of people who reach out just to ask general questions or if they have real estate needs I'm happy to chat with you with what for whatever you need so feel free to reach out okay so let's go back to title in most cases title is going to be transferred by deed which is recorded in the land records of the county or jurisdiction that might oversee the real estate transfers wherever the property is located so generally when property is sold an attorney or a title abstractor will go down and they run they run title essentially um, they're going to the wherever the land records are so it's a physical location not not always something that can be done online they've got to go down and actually like run through everything they search for title they go back and they also search for the entire ownership of the property and they look what they're actually looking for are any defects on the title so a title defect is anything in the entire history of ownership of a piece of real estate which may encumber the owner's rights under the title and so a title defect can cause the owner of the property to lose all of or part of their land and appurtenances to a superior ownership interest or claim of somebody else and this is the type of loss against which title insurance protects. So in short, if you have a title insurance policy, the title insurance company will defend you without cost against an attack or claim upon your ownership or interest in the property as you are the insured and you will be protected against financial loss caused by a title defect. So now your next question might be well if the title has been examined for defects why would i need insurance well there's many defects that even the most meticulous search of land records are not going to uncover for instance it's virtually impossible for an examiner to know whether the marital rights of all previous owners have been relinquished or whether all deeds mortgages judgments affecting the property have been uh you know paid off properly indexed in the land records and whether all signatures are actually valid which is another thing that we've seen come up or whether an unknown heir of a previous owner has a valid claim on the property and they are going to come back and say hey that was mine and I have a claim that's the kind of stuff that it protects you against so without owner's title insurance you actually may have no avenue for recovery on something like this and there's been situations where people lose the property is it rare absolutely but does it happen frankly if it happened one in a million times for me that would be more than enough for me to say I'm good I will buy the title insurance. All right, so the next question that people ask is, if I am required to purchase lender's insurance, why do I need owner's coverage as well? In almost every instance, a lender is going to require you to purchase lender's title insurance, protecting them for up to the value of their loan on the property. So the coverage only protects the lender, not you in this situation. And the coverage diminishes as the loan is paid off. So as you build more equity in the property, you kind of expose yourself to a higher risk of loss occasioned by a title defect. In this situation, the protected lender suffers no loss while you as the owner of record bear the substantial risk of the damage. If that makes sense, you know, you can look at like an amortization table and that would kind of show you how as you're making payments and you're paying down the loan, the lender has less and less of an interest in your property because they're getting their money back and they're getting closer to the end but you're building more equity so your loss is actually potentially greater so you want to make sure that you've got proper coverage for both parties and yes you do have to pay for the lender as well as yourself that really is kind of a thorn in the side that gets to people but it makes sense like i said lender's not buying the house you are 
So we've seen this come up on many situations. We've even seen it come up in condos, which we used to normally think condos were somewhat protected because there wasn't land associated with the purchase, but more just the actual space and the physical space of the condo from the walls in. But you see situations where say somebody promised someone a property and it didn't get properly recorded or something happened and they come back and claim it. Or you have a husband and wife situation or even partners and they separate and one person doesn't sign away or one person completely disappears and the other one wants to sell the property. The right way to do it is to file a suit to partition, but we've seen it where some people have forged their information on listing agreements and condo documents and things like that. And it just, that stuff doesn't come out unless you do title search and unless everything, you know, people are showing up at closing, they're showing their ID, making sure that property is transferring from one person to the next, to the next and so on. So that is how title insurance works. It's very important to get it. Uh, it is also important to make sure that you ask for a reissue rate if possible. So when you're purchasing a property, the title insurance policy goes back for 60 years. However, a lot of times they will just sell you that policy when you buy a property, even if the owners bought their house three years ago and they're now selling it to you, right? So that's something to look out for is that you may be able to ask the owners of the property if they would be willing to provide a copy of their title insurance and that will save you a lot of money because then the title only has to be insured from their date of purchase through current which means everything else is covered by that other policy and they're able to pull that forward save you a lot of money so that is title insurance i am melissa terzis dc real estate mama i know that was a little drier than normal but i hope that that was helpful and every bit as fascinating as i think it is and if you have any any questions for me or anything else that you need information on my contact info is coming next